guys, welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. Today I will be showing you a breakdown of a song by Travis Green, Intentional. Yeah, the song progression is as easy as A, B, C. So I'm going to be showing you um, the song progression then and I will be showing you some basic feel I added in, in between the chord progression, chord changes there. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, like I said, the progression of the song is straightforward. The key of the song, I can refer to the key of the song as F sharp minor. Yes, that is where the progression started from. So I can say the key of the song is F sharp minor. So all you have to do is to trace its relative major notes. Okay, its relative major note will be A. Okay. That's why if you check the progression, the progression started from C, 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 basically like advanced way of saying it i'm going to refer to the key of the song as f sharp minor okay like i say the simple way to detect the remaining progression is you looking out for its relative major remember or oh, i'm telling you now every relative minor key you find yourself or minor note has its relative major okay so it's vice versa so the key of the song is f sharp minor okay because that is where the chord progression started from not the a okay so the relative major note of f sharp minor is a okay this is it one two three four five six this is your f sharp this is it again f sharp okay so that's it all right so let's get straight to everything i want to break down for you today so the song progression started from the sixth note of your a major scale That is just the progression of the song. Easy to play, easy to, you know, every note is just there. You can even decide not to overspread your fingerings or your fingers on the board. You can decide to just stay here and achieve all the progression because the progression is the note of the A major scale. All the progressions are notes of the A major scale, just that they started from the sixth note, okay? So that's it. The song progression is six. Walking for my good one is in ten, two, three, and four. Then every time you go back to six, that's it. Next. Then next. Three and four. Go back to six, six. Then you go seven one then you go two then you go three and four that is it now there are some basic passing notes or movement or lick i did in between the chord changes i will just go straight to that part okay now this is it on the six at first i just groove it simple da, 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 da. right that is it at first then i did this going back to the six this movement is simple it's as simple as abc what makes this movement unique is the hammer on okay that is it so that movement started from three four hammer on pull off then two one six and the line light on the six that is it three four three two one six six 
six six seven one 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 then i did something on the two then the two i did i love that okay as if i want to play the dorian that is it two three four five six one seven okay then five two then three and four now that led me to the four chord okay da -da 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 -da. That is it. The third movement I did was from the four chord. Okay. Leading me back to the six chord. So there are kind of um, three movements I did on the six chord. Three different movements I did going to my six chord. I think I've showed you one. I've showed you one. Now the second one is this. Um, from four I did. That is just it. What if you don't have the best string? This is how you can achieve it. I didn't touch this. That's the second movement I did going to my six chord progression. Now I've shown you the movement I did on the two chord and I've showed you the first movement I did on the six chord. Now this is the second movement I did going leading me to my six chord. Okay, so from four I did slide to the one. Okay. Okay, that's it. One, four, three, two, one. Six, five, three, two, six. One, four, three, two, one, six, five, three, two, six. Then you keep going, keep your groove. Then you go. This is another movement to the seas. is it okay from the four again i took another move to the six from four da, da, da. one seven six four three one seven six that is it four four one seven six four three one seven six Okay, you need to watch your timing. Okay, watch it. Let me share a bit of timing for you. A little bit of um, the timing from the scope progression to the next pr progression. Everything is the same. So you're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Every count from this scope progression to the next scope progression is four, four count. Okay, there are some counts you will count three because of the passing note you want to hit. That will make it four. Then you land on the next chord progression you're going. Hey, is an example I want to show you. From six, I'm going to my one. On a normal day, I will do. All things are working. I will go straight to the one. But because I added the seven, I used the seven to serve as passing note to the one. That's why I shortened the count here. I was like one, two, three, four. One, two three four you can see on the one i completed the four counts before going to my two on the two i will not complete the four count because i want to add the three as i want to use the three as passing notes landing on my four chord okay landing on my four chord so i will do for the two i will count three then the last one i will use it on the three to get to the four okay so on the two i will do one two three four then one two three four 
okay, that's if you don't want to take any move. That's it. So I need to just make sure I'm on timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Then you go back to your one, two, three. So it's all about four, four counts, okay? So anything you're doing, do it in between before you move to the next chord progression you're going. Okay, so that's exactly what happened on the movement I did. Okay, I kind of, okay, let me quickly fill in before moving to the next chord progression. And if you notice, all the movement, all the filling in are leading me to the next chord progression I'm going. So it's easy. Okay, so let's go. All right, so the last movement I want to show you is to my six again. So I did something from the four, I did... This is it again. F sharp minor triad. So I will try not to make it complicated for you. I will just try to break it down for you. I play the F sharp minor triad. That is it. Then I hit the six again. Then I play the six, seven, one. Okay. If this is my six, seven, one, this is my three on top of the six. Okay. Six, seven, one. Three, six, seven, one. Okay, that is how the movement started. Then, what are the notes? This is my one, two, three, five, six. Okay, so I played six minor triad, F sharp minor triad. I've completed the triad. So, what is my next move? My next move is six, seven, one. Then I repeated the three, six, seven, one. That is it. That is it. Okay. And that led me to seven, one, one, one. Okay. Again. That is it. So, guys, basically, this is everything I did there. You can see there is no big deal about the movement. I'm still making use of the notes of the A major scale. And as much as the key of the song started from F sharp minor, does not mean I'm lost. Okay. Da, 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 da. So guys, this is everything I want to show you today. Hope you got one or two things you can add to what you already have. You know, take them, you know, improvise on them, you know, and have fun. That's it. That's it. Keep building and keep learning and keep enjoying the base. So guys, if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button looking at you right there and do not forget to turn on the notification bell okay you can afford to miss new videos i upload every week hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and for my returning subscribers thank you so much and to my new subscribers also thank you thank you thank you thank you so much okay and don't forget to like this video comment and share also to your friends okay let them come and enjoy what you're also enjoying on this channel okay and also guys if you want to join my private lesson zoom private lesson every information is in the description below or right there on the screen looking at you okay chat me by whatsapp send me an email indicating you want to join my zoom private 
lessons okay and also if you want to buy the beginners pack you know the pack says a lot of things you know foundation is the key when you want to play any of the instruments any of the instruments foundation is the key if you miss the foundation I'm telling you you might see yourself in two years ten years coming back to the foundation okay so come get the beginners pack is available okay and packs on pentatonic also you want to really know how these things work come get the pack okay I will see you in my next video peace out one love and stay safe